Hey everyone, it's Miss Squire with Technology Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about Google Drive and how to manage your Google Drive folders. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you automatically have a Google Drive that you can use. This is an online file management system that allows you to use uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all of those cool online programs that create things just like Microsoft Word. Now, in order to store these things, they put them in a file structure uh, on Google Drive. And that's what we're going to focus on today is understanding and organizing that file structure. So when you first come into Google Chrome, if you're logged into your account on the right side, it'll say your name, and your email address and you're going to click on the nine little dots here that says Google Apps and on here you're going to go to Google Drive that drive page now mine already has folders in it because I've been using this but basically you're going to set it up with these folder buttons here this is basically building a box so you can put other boxes or files inside of that box now, what you want to do to organize yourself is click this new button at the top, do new folder, then you're going to type in the school year. Now, I haven't done 23, 24, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to click create. Now, once you do, it goes in alphabetical order. So I've got this new one right here. If I double click on it, it'll open up that folder and there's nothing in here because I don't have any files. So I'm going to do new and then folder again, and I'm going to type in the classes that I'm taking this year. So I've got English, I'll do new and then new folder, math, and so on. And just keep making those folders for what you need to use. You can even go a little bit deeper and go into each class and do a new folder for each unit, like unit one, unit two and I'm just hitting the enter key when I finish typing and it automatically creates it for me. So now you've created the structure for your files. When you get a Google Doc to put into your file folder, um, you will want to be able to make a copy of it. Now I have quite a few files on here and I am going to just pick one of these. Um, so I will pick this one right here and this is a presentation that I can only view. Now for a lot of you, when you get a presentation from your teacher, this is what you're going to see is view only. That means you have to go and make a copy of it. So you're going to go to file, then make a copy. Depending on if you're using docs or presentation, it'll be di worded differently. But you're basically going to come over here to this menu and click whatever is at the top. In this case, I want the entire presentation. Now this is where you want to stop. Don't just click make a copy. We want to put this in our file structure so we know where it is the next time we go looking for it. So we're going to click on the folder so we can change it from my drive. Click on the little arrow next to my drive and then keep clicking on the arrows next to the folders we want to go into. I want to put this in my English unit one folder and hit select automatically tells me where I'm putting it. If you need to change the name to maybe you need to put your first or last name in front of it, you can always do that before you send it over there. Then you're going to click make a copy and it opens up in a new tab for you. And this one will allow you to edit it. See how it didn't, it doesn't save you only anymore. You can use any of these buttons now. Now, if you want to make sure that it ended up in that folder, you can just come back to my drive, go into the folder where you saved it, and you automatically have that file there. Making sure that your file folders are structured properly is really, really important because otherwise everything will just get dumped out here and you won't know what is for what class you'll have to click on all the files and it will take a really long time to get the file that you want. 
Um, this will really help for like if you've worked on something the day that it was announced in class, but you didn't quite finish it and you need to go back later, that will help you keep that same structure and be able to find it as soon as you need it. Hopefully this helps you and let me know what you think.